When you can't afford a mask, your fingers are perfect replacements. What's good, Power Director peeps? Another Tablet Tuesday has fallen upon us, and today I'm going to show you how to make a mask using the Power Director Video Editor app. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you're ready to get down on some masking, I want you to put hashtag mask tool in the comment section below. Here we are in the Power Director Video Editor app. Creating a mask allows you to apply shapes to videos, trim out elements of a video, merge videos, and more. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a mask for your videos. Let's mask some stuff. First, you want to add a clip or image to the main video track. So you want to tap on the media icon. We're going to make sure that we're on the picture section. Then we're going to tap on the location where our picture is. We'll tap the picture that we want to use. And you want to tap the little plus sign and it'll add it to the main video track. Then you want to tap back. And you want to tap back now let's go ahead and tap on the image and you can trim it to make it however long you want the image to be now we're going to tap on the edit icon and we want to tap on pan and zoom the reason why is because usually when you add an image to one of the tracks it automatically adds some random motion to it and we don't want that so let's tap on no effect and then tap on ok now you want to make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline track and you want to tap on the overlay icon. And then for this, we're going to tap on video because we're going to put a video inside of that TV screen. Then you want to go to the location where your video is located. You want to tap on your video and you want to tap on the plus sign. That'll go ahead and add it to the overlay track. Then you want to tap on that video. And you want to trim it down to make it the same size as the image above it. So if we try to use this image just as it is, you'll see that it doesn't fit the TV screen exactly. Even if we shrink it down, it's not going to fit how we want it. You need to resize this and make it larger than the TV screen and then add a mask to it to mask out some parts of it. So just go ahead and pinch out on it to make it larger than the TV screen. Doesn't matter how large at this point. And then you want to go ahead and tap on the edit icon. And then you want to tap on mask. So first let's talk about the interface here. The first option is no mask. Then the next option is a mask that's kind of like showing just the top portion and not showing the bottom portion. Then you have a mask that kind of shows it diagonally. Then you have a mask that is a circle or an ellipse. Then you have a mask that is a square. Now you can use the feather option to feather the border of the mask if you want to, to make it blend more into a different setting. And then you can also invert the mask. So if I use the circle mask here, if I wanted the middle to be invisible and the outside to still have the basketball players, I would tap on invert mask and now it inverts it and I can see what's in the middle. Now I'm not gonna use the inverted mask and I'm not gonna use a feather, but I am gonna use a square. So I'm gonna tap on the square. Now the next thing that you need to do is change the size of this. So the circles, let you change the aspect ratio. So if I hold one of these circles and move it, it'll change the aspect ratio of the mask. And the square nodes on here, they allow you to trim pieces of the mask out. So if I hold one of these squares and then move it up, it'll just mask everything away that's underneath it here. So I'm just going to try to place the edges right on the edge of the TV screen by holding on to the black nodes and dragging them over where I think they need to be. And then you can press on play to get a preview of it, see how it looks. Hit pause. If you don't like it, hit the edit icon, hit mask again, and you can continue to make changes to it if you wish. And that's how you make a mask 
in the Power Director Video Editor app using the Mask tool. If you decide that you like what the Power Director Video Editor app can do and you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.